Welcome to this edition of the TV 19 Plus Dining Guide program. With TV Dining Guide, you can visit local restaurants from fine dining to casual, inexpensive spots for family meals, all located within a few minutes of your home. You can take a virtual video tour of local restaurants right here on TV 19 Plus, so stay tuned. We also have a companion website providing links to dining options, menus, specials, and coupons for restaurants featured on the program edition of the dining guide they're cooking up seafood at the cove and bruno is making pizza from scratch the Cove is one of the area's newest restaurants located at 20 West Atlantic Avenue in Audubon between Merchant Street and Nicholson Road, just a block off the White Horse Pike. The Cove is a restaurant, bar, and large catering hall that can handle weddings, banquets, and other large events. But a good restaurant is more than just a building, it's people. Hi, I'm Annalise, and I'm a server. I'm Val, and I'm a bartender. Hi, I'm Erin, and I'm a bartender as well. And most important, a good restaurant is good food. Let's stop by the kitchen and see what's cooking. How you doing, guys? I'm uh, Jerry from the Cove. I'm a chef here. Grew up right down the street in Evelyn. We're going to do a uh, seafood chipino today. It's one of our uh, more popular dishes on the menu. We're just going to start by getting the uh, oil hot in the pan. Got a medium temperature on it, and then we're going to start searing our scallops. You want to get the pan kind of hot, almost, almost to where the oil is starting to smoke, so you get a nice clean sear on the scallops. Scalps in first before the garlic because the scalps take the longest out of all the seafood in the dish and the garlic would end up burning and turning black by the time you got everything else in your bowl. And the scalps, they pretty much cook themselves. Once they're ready to turn, so we'll loosen up in the pan and cook them right over.
Now I put the pan on top of that to steam the mussels. You want the mussels to open up, but you don't want to overcook them. So what you do is, once you once the mussels start to open, then you're going to take the lid off because if not, the mussels will overcook and they'll end up, you know, drying out and shriveling up. This dish goes over a uh, I linguine mean, pasta. I got my water going already. As you can see right there, the muscles are starting to open up a little bit. You want to make sure you flip all your seafood again just so you cook it evenly. basil. This finishes off the flavor and also gives it a nice a nice look to the dish. Gives you contrasting colors all the way through. in. We're not going to mix it with the seafood. We're just going to roll it through so you get some of that sauce on there. And now we're ready to plate it. Now, if there's any muscles in the dish that don't open, you definitely want to get them out of there. That means they were either um, no good or they just you know, wouldn't open up for you. And in that case, that means they're not cooked. So you just want to throw them out. The bar at the Cove is unique with 20 different craft beers on tap. Bartender Guy Powers talks about a featured beer. Hello, I am Guy. I'm one of the bartenders at the Cove. We specialize in 20 different types of craft beers. Let me tell you about one of them. Right now I'm pouring a Magic Hat number 9, which is a beer that is rather hoppy. If you like hoppy beers, I recommend the Magic Hat series. Uh, like I said, number nine tends to be uh, not as hoppy as their other types of beers, but uh, well worth tasting. The Cove is one of the area's newest restaurants located at 20 West Atlantic Avenue in Audubon between Merchant Street and Nicholson Road, just a block off the of White Horse Pike. While national chains and many local pizza parlors use frozen shells, canned sauce, and packaged toppings, everything at Bruno's Restaurant is made fresh for the 175 to 250 pizzas served there daily. Owner Bruno Sciano explains. Okay, that's what we do Bruno's. We make a fresh every day. It's nothing 
or very pretty down pre cook. We saw everything about back here. I learned these things about 40, 50 years ago. I do my own dough, my own fresh mozzarella, my own fresh pepper from New Jersey, and fresh tomato. All the herbs is fresh, basil, fresh basil, and we do all the fashion, make tomato sauce. Exactly the way it's supposed to be the Naples pizza from Italy. So we make the sauce, no pizza sauce, it's tomato sauce, it's from Italy, it's a marzano sauce. First we, we make our own cheese every Wednesday and every Thursday, and we make our own cheese for the, for the Caprese salads, for the margarita, and for the Caprese pizza. Every Wednesday, everybody loves my fresh mozzarella. And then we make a smoked mozzarella too. So both one we use for egg prep parmesan and a block rub and smoked mozzarella. We have a fresh topping, it's uh, portobello mushrooms, shiitake mushrooms, and champignon mushrooms. And we use fresh spinach, fresh broccoli, fresh roasted pepper, and sometimes uh, fresh onions. Everything would be nice, fresh ingredient for my, for my pizza. Nothing's pre-cooked, nothing's from the can, nothing's frozen. Everything's be fresh. I go myself and produce every single day. Five, six, seven days a week, every morning. In fact, this morning, 6 o'clock, I was in my production in Philly, and sometimes I go to Clementon to get all my tomato, lettuce, whatever, all my stuff of the sandwiches. <laughs> That's a rich tomato from Italy. That's a Romano cheese from Sardinia. That's fresh mushrooms. That's fresh red pepper. Got fresh broccoli. We got nice fresh spinach. And we got nice beautiful fresh onions. That's nice fresh onions. Then we drop a little bit of cheese on the top, it looks beautiful. And then we'll start to drop it, right? That's from the scratch. Bruno's Restaurant, located on Hopkins Road in Haddon Township between Crystal Lake Avenue and Cuthbert Road, offering everything from pizza to fine dining. For more information and links to our menu, visit the TV19 Plus website at www.tvdiningguide.com. Thanks for watching this edition of TV Dining Guide. You can review the restaurant videos on this program, download menus and coupons, and see daily specials at our companion website at www.tvdiningguide.com.